I would describe my political views as the new right. I say that like I'm left. Feminism today is man-hating. I would describe myself as a feminist, 100%. I don't believe that climate change exists. We're not taking enough action on climate change. I think it's about time these people got off the high horse and started looking for credible problems that actually exist. It's absolutely critical that trans people have their own voice. That's not right, you can't, you know, you're, you're a man, be a man, or you're a female, be a female. Women do need to remember that we need you to have our children. Could I be friends with someone that says a woman's place is in the home? Um... <laughs> Right, OK, well, I'm an expert at flat packs. If you have any trouble, just watch me. So it looks like I've got your instructions here. I think so. Let me help you. Let's have just that bit there. Describe what it is like to be you in five adjectives. OK, frustrating. Dedicated. Opinionated. Lucky. Ambitious. Offensive. Solemn. I have ups and downs. Strong. I want to say attacked. Misunderstood. Name three things you and I have in common. We're both male, we're both confident, and we're both loudly spoken. We know each other better than people who've known each other for ten minutes should. You seem quite ambitious and positive, and you've got this really, um... Got a glow. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Your aura's pretty cool. I'm sensing. Are you uh, former military or something? People have said that, but there is no, really? there is no history. So are you then? Ex. Ex military? Um, yeah. If you're ex military, I'm very proud of you already. Well, so. I grew up uh, in a bit of a rough state. I've experienced homelessness. I've known what it's like to have absolutely nothing. Yeah. So yeah, I'm definitely most grateful just, just for life. We've only just met, but I think you're the sort of person that would listen to me and we'd have a discussion rather than argue. Yeah, you could hang out with, man. Let's go. Come on, Chad. Goodness sake. You're right, mate. Fitter than a look. Perfect. Oh, yeah. There you go. It's basically, I think we just bought a bar. Yeah. OK. Here you are. <laughs> Each take a bottle and place it on its corresponding markings on the bar. Attention, please now stand to watch a short film. Feminism today is definitely an excuse for misandry, man-hating. If somebody said to me that climate change is destroying the world, then I'd say that is total piffle. So transgender, it is very odd. We're not set up to understand or see things like that. I am a daughter. A wife. I am transgender. I feel like the battle for feminism definitely isn't done. The fight is never going to be over, if I'm honest with you. You now have a choice. You may go or you can stay and discuss your differences over a beer. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> you happy for a second then? Well, I'm having a drink. I'm having a drink. Yeah. I want to discuss. Beer. Yeah, beer and discuss. Cheers. At the end of the day, mate. About I've reaching out to people, with you. yeah. And, you know, even if you wanted to convince people about your point, the productive thing to do would be to sit it's down engaged. and have a beer. It's engage. I've been brought up in a way where everything's black and white. But life isn't black and white. Yeah, I'm just me. <laughs> yeah. Smash the patriarchy. <laughs> I'll give you my mobile number, you give me yours, uh -huh. and we'll keep in touch. I'd have to tell my girlfriend that I'll be texting another girl. <laughs> she might be a bit upset with that, but I'll have to get round there. I'll have to tell my girl that she'll have to lump it.